has an actual theme song. What is it? Like Brush the, your shoulders off. No, not that. It's like the... What? what is it? What? I was singing oh, it today. You gotta just, yeah. you know, let it go off your... What are you talking you just about? You gotta, you know, There's let it. Flag pin. Let's do it. Welcome to Obamath. This is yaymath.org. Give it up. And ride it. <laughs> oh my god. Today we'll be doing the law of cosines. Yes, compliment to the law of sines. Please draw the following triangle before uh, Michelle comes in and tells me that the fun's over. <laughs> Barack, get back to being president. No, <laughs> I'd rather do trig. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Angela Merkel's on the line. Like she can wait. <laughs> I'm with my friends. You have to declare war. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> but we need to solve this triangle too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Folks need this. Just as that important. is the American dream. Trigonometry is the American dream. <laughs> American nightmare. <laughs> ah! It's on the test. <laughs> and the final no. <laughs> <laughs> like my final day is a trick. Okay, let's solve this triangle, right? Um, thinking of law of sines, right? Uh, we can use the law of sines to solve any triangle. Again, this is side A, if we wanted to call it that. What would be the setup for law of sines, please? Go ahead. It Sign would, of? Uh, sine 40. Over. Over A. Equals. Equals sine C. Sure. Over, over. 10. What's the problem? Uh, we you have an A to C. Cross multiply. What's the problem in terms of solving? Uh, you said it. Yeah. Two variables. Two variables. Two variables. So no matter how hard we try in this case, we could have even done sine of B over 12. You see that? And it still would have been the same. Same problem. We have two variables. So we can't use the law of sines in this case. The, I'll actually wait for you to tell me when you can use the law of sines. So when you can't use the law of sines, which is this ratio, we use the law of cosines. I'll show you how that works. All right, first let's set up the formula. It goes as follows. Just think of like Pythag. What? See that? Yeah. It's weird, I know what the A's and B's and C's. I'll, I'll get back to that. Yeah. So first let's just write that, okay? Minus. In other words, this is what it means. One side squared equals the other two sides squared. Okay. That's all that, thing, all that means. Minus two times these same two sides. Oh. E plus E. Times, just yeah. times. Oh. Times the cosine of the original angle over here, which would be A. Okay. Oh, we did. Didn't yeah, we, we, we touched on this wow. over the semester. <laughs> yeah. Let's actually try it in a different format. Could I say B squared? Yes. Yeah. So equals one side equals a, the other two sides. Go for it. A squared plus, plus C squared minus 2AC times cos B. Yes. Cosine. Yeah, that. You got it. You got it. All right. You want to try one? Mm. So <laughs> start with the third side. Uh, C squared. C squared. Equals A squared plus B squared 2AB uh, minus. Times. Times. Cosine. C. Big C, right? Bravo. Cool? Yes. So this is the, it's the same formula over and over again. It's just how you look at it, okay? One side equals the other two sides squared, added up, minus two times those same two sides, times the cosine of the angle across from the first so that's, side. That's minus 2AB, right? That's like the yeah, two minus 2AB, right? This is a minus, that's right. And so we look at this situation, and uh, best guess, what is the variable we can isolate on one side and then the other two that we know is on the other side? Which should we start, which formula here? We start with um, A. Yeah, A. A. A, that's right. If we start with A squared that's isolated and then we could throw in all this other stuff. So let's see if it works. Cool. I'll take this off. You don't have to. All right. All right, let's do it. A squared, do we know it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A squared, do we know what A, a is yet? Uh, 40. Yeah, it's 40. No, no, little a. Oh. Oh, oh no. No, equals B squared, or in other words? Uh, 12. 
Well, 100 because it's 10 squared. We'll get, we'll get there. Can you just give me what B is? Oh, 12 squared. 12 squared, good job. Plus? 10 squared. Very good, that's all I want. Minus two times? Uh, 12. Times? 10. Times the cosine of? Uh, 40. 40, very good. I'm gonna make a little more room for myself here. There's so much writing. So <laughs> much writing in the world. It's <laughs> a show. <laughs> Rock so much trig in right. the world. Rock's heading to New York. <laughs> All right. Yeah, now, right let's uh, simplify our lives. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's, uh, simpl let's simplify. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's like waving to a painting. <laughs> okay, here we no, go. A painting of a painting. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> 12 squared is? 144 plus 100. 100. All right, two times let's say 10, that's 20 uh, times 12, 240. Good job. Mm -hmm. Cosine of 40, which nice. is we'll get we'll get to that. Let's do order of operations. Should we can we add these two? We shall. Yes. What is it? 244. 244. Now, can you tell me what the common mistake? That students do here. That. Yes. Uh, they, that's, all, that's one thing right there. By the order of operations, this is one entity. So what are students tempted to do? 244 minus 240. Yeah. And a lot of them do it. All right. So don't be that student, right? Even if you did, it's all good. We can correct our mistakes. Just yeah. learn from them. So this is one piece. In fact, you could just put this in the calculator all together. Oh, so 244 minus 240 cos 240 cosine of 40. What do we get? You uh, get, you get no, I keep not pressing enter. 60.1493333. 60. 60.14. 60. 60.14. 60, okay. 60.14. All right, and now how do we get A? Do what to both sides? Uh, You square root that. Square root, remember you said you remember, you couldn't remember what it's called, yeah, but now you do, now you do, uh, now you do. <laughs> and you get A equals? Uh, 7.75. 7.75, bravo. And that goes. In green right. here. I forgot to write it all down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seven point seven five. If I ever forget the the Pythagorean theorem or the quadratic, I got it right here. You got it on your socks. <laughs> good luck on the final. That's good. You gotta be prepared. Now, how would you solve for missing sides and angles? <laughs> um, now that you have your seven point you seven five, do it. Do what? That. <laughs> you could do all those signs again. Yeah, Could yeah, you yeah. do a lot of signs though? Mm -hmm. Yes. Try. Just give us a setup, Wait. please. Okay. Do this law of oh, sign I setup. don't have any of my notes. It's okay. If you um, recall the the form the, the ratio. Sine of sine of um forty. Yeah. Over side. Over seven point seven five. Yes. Side across from it, that's right. Equals, Equals. hook it up. Sine B. Sure. Over twelve. Now we can do it. And now you can solve uh, the rest easy. of the time. Yeah. And using inverse trig to solve that. Okay? Let's just get one angle. Let's solve this okay. one angle and then we can get C easily from there. So this would be... 7.75 sine B. Yep. And then so sine B equals 12 sine 40 over 7.75. Right, this is cross multiply and divide. I got... Point ninety nine. Point ninety nine. So close. This is point ninety nine here. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think. So let's see what's going on with this. Twelve sine forty divided by seven point seven five. Yeah. I'm getting point nine nine. How about that? Second sign. Yeah, yeah. that's. 84 degrees. No, yeah. It's no, a... you probably just put it in No. The second time. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But you didn't close your... Parentheses. Yeah, and, and, and without closing the, the parentheses, I got the 0.99. Yeah, I know, but he, he always says close the parentheses. 0.99. And so B equals the... In, that's so good that we did it then. President. Inverse sign. Yeah, the president knows. 81. I got 84.4. Oh uh, no, I forgot to add. Uh, what the... did I do? <laughs> what did I do? <coughs> She's invested. Okay. Oh yeah, I got it now. Okay, great. Questions on that? That would be 84, 4.4, okay? So uh, let's do one more triangle for law of cosines. 
Is there any questions on how we got this? And then that we switched to law of signs. Are you comfortable we switched to law of signs after? Okay, one more, one more. There's another situation in which we can't use law of signs. I'll show you. All right, give me a triangle. Give me three sides of a triangle. Give me three sides. 12. 12 is one, go ahead. 10. Sure. 17. 12, 10, Eight. Can... 17. I'm um, 17 okay. is first. 17. So if I gave you, let's say I gave you three sticks, one 10 inches, one 12 inches, one 17, yeah. and I gave you those three, yeah. how many triangles could you create from those three sides? One. One, right? Yeah. Even if you rotate it, there's only one triangle, it's yeah. locked. The question is how we get the angles. Could you use law of signs to get those angles? Yeah. Do the setup. Here. Sign. Let's go A. No, you couldn't. Could you? Right. No, you couldn't. You couldn't. You get because two variables. Again. Yeah. You, so you get two variables again. So you do the same thing? So law again? of cosines. That's right. Give me one. Give me one law of cosines. Um, A squared. Sure, let's do A squared. A squared equals, uh, equals B, B squared, squared plus C squared, C squared minus 2, two times, times C oh, times cos cosine A. A. Very good. Now, do you agree that you have all three sides? Yeah. Would it matter where you put them in? Because you have all three sides. So these are all three sides. What's the only thing not known within this cosine equation? Cosine A. Indeed. Angle so A. So then we can go and do it. Sure. So if you want to solve for that's the spirit. That's that kind of thing that built this country. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Carrying the load. God. All right, <laughs> so what can we put in here? Can go Doing great. Do um, wait, what? What should we put here? Uh, so we put in 10 squared. 10 squared. Uh, it's, and then 17 squared plus 12 squared equals 2. Oop, or minus. Six. Minus 2. Oh, um, minus 2 times 17 times 12. Yes. Uh, equals Close cosine A. a. Good. And then? Good. And now we pump in some number crunching. And we do 100 equals, what's 17 times itself? One, 189? 189. 189? 189. 289. 289? 289. Confirm? So I, think that's that's okay. I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, yeah. 289 plus 144. 144. Minus, what's these multiplied? Uh, 24 plus... 24 times 17 makes. Put on count. We would you wouldn't distribute the two to both of them. No, it's a straight multiplication. Oh. There's no distributive property. 408. That was a trick question. Cosine of a. You're confirming that that two times 17 times 12 is 408. Yep. Very good. And now by order of operations, what should we do to simplify our lives? Plus 144. Very good. Makes. Uh, 433. 433. Plug in. Minus, 408. minus 408. Cosine of A. What should we not do? Not subtract uh, the two of them. Yeah. Correct. You should not subtract the two of them. We're solving for cosine of A. And then you would subtract? What would you subtract first from both sides? The 100. Cosine. Not yet. No. But you do 408 cosine A and then subtract whatever that is from you 433. 433. Right? You, you like should subtract 433 four four first. Subtract 433. Move this away to get this whole piece by itself. So would yeah. you have okay. negative 433? Or would you, three, just, three, or would you do 100 three. minus 433 and have negative 333? Yep. Negative 333. That's right. So let's go. Let's subtract 433 on both sides. It's, very, it's a very interesting system because it is following order of operations. But it's this makes it a little trickier. <laughs> Negative 333. Yeah, you could say that. Negative. Visit your local library. Okay. Uh, and negative then it was negative 408. I see negative equals Close negative, which is great. So divide both sides divide by. by negative something and then to I get got them back. Point yeah. eight one six one. Yeah, what are you dividing both sides by? Negative 408. That's right. Let's put that in. Ah! <laughs> and then you should get on your left side 0.816. Okay. So then now we use inverse trig. A equals inverse cosine ratio 0.816 blah 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 equals? Uh, 35.31. Bravo. 35. Angle A. 
Yeah, it looks like the smallest one. 35.3 degrees. Putting it in, 35.3. Now, are we obligated to use law of cosines again? Nah. No. Nah, fam, no. What can we use? We can use law of sines. Yeah. Law of sines. Can you set it up verbally? Sine yes. of? Sine of 35.3. Over 10, 10 equals sine of B over 17. Good. I mean, we won't even solve it. Any questions? Nah, man. All right. We're good. Legit. Uh, that is legitimate. As a president, I am a legitimate president. I was born in Hawaii as I back up into this board. I am not <laughs> a boss, I have, <laughs> I have a birth certificate. No. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't, you can't let that stuff, you know, do, 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 do. just brush it, brush it, brush it. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> you can cut the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm President Barack Obama. In any approaching election season, it is of the utmost importance to vote. Your vote directly shapes the future of our nation. Simply Google how to register to vote for details in your area. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message.